Hi, my name is Walt Bednarz with Design Point Solutions, and what I'm going to demonstrate here is how you can limit access to an enterprise PDM dispatch command. In this example, I have this command called sync revision. And what I want to do is I want to make it so that only the admin can access this command. So we're going to go into the administration tool, access dispatch, and edit the script. Right now we can see the lines of code used for processing the files that are in that folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some statements to the end of the script. Here we're looking at the label command. This is used in conjunction with the jump command and it's the destination that you would jump to. In this case here I'm going to put in an end fail. So when a certain condition is not met it'll jump to that location. I'll also add to this another label called end all and that's the complete end of the script. Now just after this end fail I want to bring up a dialog box that's shown to the user letting them know that this is only used this command is only going to be used by an admin so it's going to be the OK message box we're going to say that this is this is an admin only command. And that will be prompted to the user when the failure criteria is met. We have our lines of code here again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a jump now. I mentioned, I mentioned that this goes with the label command. So we're going to say that if name of the logged in user does not equal admin we're going to jump to that label called end fail so there it is if it's not the admin it skips all of our line of code and goes to end fail An ok message box is presented and then it just ends all now I'm going to put in another statement right after this here. It's another jump. In this case here we're going to say jump and in all cases, we'll leave it on always, go to and all. And What we're trying to say here is after it processes all the files, it runs through the loops, we're going to jump all the way to the end and skip this message box. And That's pretty much it. This should limit access to our script. Now if I go to sync revision and I apply it, I can see it's being applied. But in this case here, I'm logged in as admin. We'll log off and we'll try this again. attempt that one more time and we'll see get we get the message this is an admin only command so pretty simple this is how we can limit access to a dispatch command